Hey guys, before this video starts, I just want to say this quest involves me teleporting to and from 10 different locations randomly all over the place repeatedly. Due to the randomness of this quest, um, I leave. I do leave in parts where the chest isn't in that area, so I have to teleport somewhere and it's not in that area, so I have to teleport somewhere. But this is only because during the video I'm trying to try my best to explain the logic of the key there's like a hot and cold game during this quest and it's just a pain in the arse so once you understand the logic of this game I am going to leave timestamps in the description with the exact location just so it's a lot faster for you guys to just skip through the video um, once you understand the logic of the key with that being said I hope you find the guide very helpful. It did take me quite a while to make it as it's my first guide that I've done since um, the, I done a Halloween guide, event guide ages ago and that was like the first one I ever did and this has been like four years since that. So I just want to say thank you for watching the guide and I hope it's helpful. Hello everyone and welcome to the guide of the Enchanted Key mini quest. On old school runescape. To start this mini quest, you need to have at least got into the part of the making history quest where you get the enchanted key from Erin in Ardoin. And after you dig up the journal in that quest, then the enchanted key mini quest should like unlock, and then you can start it from there. Now this quest is a massive pain in the arse because it is completely random for everyone. There's 11 different locations. The first one is in Relica and that is always going to be in Relica. Um, so after that there's 10 locations that you're going to have to keep teleporting to and from to find out if the chest, the next chest is in that area. This enchanted key pretty much just plays a game of hot and cold so the closer you get to the chest that you're supposed to dig up it tells you it's cold it's freezing it's getting hot it's burning whatever and this is completely random for everyone so you're going to need a shit ton of teleports to and from these 10 locations um, these 10 locations are south of Ardoin there is also a chest south of the Gnome Stronghold. There's one actually in the Gnome Stronghold. There's one outside the Body Altar, just north of Faldor. There is a chest south of Faldor, just outside the walls. One also at Mudskipper Point, south of Port Sirim. There is one in the Lumbridge Swamps, just outside the caves. There is one in Al Karid, just north of the Gem Cellar and west of the Jewel Arena. There's one just south of the Varok East Mine, and there's one actually in the GE at this very point here. Items required for this quest are a spade and an enchanted key. I would recommend weight reducing armour. Um, I'm just going to use a staff of air just to save up an inventory slot, it's not really necessary. If you want to bring your runes instead of your staff, go ahead. I've got my weight reducing armour here, I've got teleports and stuff. You will need teleports to Ardoin, Relica. Okay, so to actually get a Relica teleport tab, what you want to do is teleport to Nightmare Zone using the minigame teleport. And you want to go to your rewards chest. And with your reward points, you want to buy scroll a redirection, and you want to use that on house teleport tabs, and you can get those from the GE from like for like 700 GP each, roughly, and you just want to use that on your house teleport tab, and as you can see, you can redirect it to eight different places. Six of them required in different construction levels, and Trollheim required in the Edgar Ruse quest. Um, so you'll need level 30 construction to redirect your house tab to Relica, but if you just click on that, um, it just gives you an option, how many do you want, 
and you say five, and as you can see, you've just made five Relica teleports. The Gnome Stronghold, which you can use the Grand Tree. So I'm, that's why I've got loads of Ring of Wealth, so I'm going to be teleporting to the Grand Exchange and teleporting to the Gnome Stronghold via this um, Grand Tree here. You're also going to need teleports to Falador for the Body Altar, as well as the one that's actually just outside Falador. And you can also use Falador teleports for the Mud Skipper Point chest, or you could use house teleports if your house is in Remington, and then you can just run southeast. You will also need Lumbridge teleports for the swamp, and also some Ring of Dueling for Al Karid, and possibly if you want to run here. You can use Varrock teleports as well to make it to this point, but you can use your Ring of Duel and it doesn't matter. And obviously for the Grand Exchange I will be using Ring of Wealth because it literally teleports you right here. So let's just teleport to Relica to start this quest. Where you want to go and you just want to go south east to this agility. This agility shortcut down here. Apologies as well, you should bring some stamina potions along if you have them. You don't need them, but it is recommended. So the first um, chest is just up here. Let me just... See, it says down there, ouch, it's burning hot. That's when you know you're in the right place. So you just want to stand right directly northwest of this tree and just dig and you'll get some shit from that. And that's the first one done. So after this, it's just complete random. So depending on your luck, you could get some places that are next to each other. Like you could get the Gnome Stronghold ones back to back. You could get the Grand Exchange with the East Varrock Mine, Al Karid, all at the same time. But you'd need to be fucking lucky to get that. So pretty much all I'm going to be doing now is teleporting from each place or to each place to find out if my chest is in the places, pretty much. And forgive me, this is my first guide in like four years, so if I'm stuttering or saying shit wrong, then please forgive me. So, we'll feel the key. It's cold and warmer than last time. Right, so it's not going to be in Lumbridge, because it would be more than cold if we were this close. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have a wee look at the locations, see what's close. Alcarid could be Alcarid, so let's go rubber ring a jewel in. Let's go to the jewel arena and let's give this a rub. It's warm and warmer than last time, so that means that this could be either here or at East Varrock Mine. So this one in Alcarid is just here, so you just want to stand here and dig but obviously it must not be that one so I'm just gonna run run north to the East Farrock mine just to see if it's gonna be there which I reckon it will be. Right, so when you get here, you just want to stand in between these two trees, pretty much. You want to stand around here, dig, and you find some treasure. So that is the first 
the first one after Relic are done. So that was quite lucky. So now what we need to do, I'm just going to press that. It's cold. So it's no freezing. If it says it's cold, it means it's roughly around here somewhere. Um, where could it be? I'm going to try the Grand Exchange next. So at the Grand Exchange, I'm going to rub my key. It's cold and warmer than last time. So it is, it's not the Grand Exchange, but it is closer. Which means I'm going to try Falador now. So let's rub our key. It's warm and warmer than last time. So there is a few places here in Falador. There is this one south of it, and there's one at the body altar. There is also one at Mud Skipper's Point, but I'm not sure if it will be that one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try the body altar first. I'm just going to keep pressing my key as I walk towards it and see if it changes. See, it's getting warmer now. It's very hot and warmer than last time. So what you want to do, it definitely is up here now. So you just want to walk up this path. And you just want to make it up this wee path here and just go east. So when you arrive here, you just want to look for this little, you're looking out for this little dirt, circular, circular one just north east of the bigger one here. And you want to stand here and you want to walk about four or five squares east. And I'm just going to dig here. You found some treasure. Okay, I'm just going to press my key again now. It's cold, which means it's going to be close by. However, I don't think it's going to be down here, which means I think it could either be at Mudskipper's Point or at Lumbridge Swamp. Is there any other place it could be? Maybe Grand Exchange. I'm going to check Grand Exchange first, actually. Just bear with me. It's cold and warmer than last time. It's Also, it's warmer than last time. So where could that be then? Right. I'm going to check Lumbridge. Let's go to Lumbridge. It's warm and warmer than last time. Right, so that just tells us that it's going to be in Lumbridge Swamp. So let's just run to Lumbridge Swamp. And you just want to go outside the dungeon. Just roughly around here. And just where this mushroom is, next to the dead tree, you just want to walk one square east and dig. And that should be the Lumbridge one down now. So I'm just going to press my key and see what it says. It's cold but colder than last time. So where could that now be? See, that's not going to be like Gnome Stronghold or anything just yet. Ouch, it's burning hot. Right, so we're definitely at Alcarid now. So Alcarid. And you just want to stand just here. Just on this square here. Just literally just underneath this bush here next to the pond just north of the gem cellar and you just want to dig your spade and you found some treasure again so let's rub our key again and see what it says it's cold so let's try the grand exchange once again 
it's cold and warmer than last time which means it's close to the Grand Exchange so I'm going to try Faldo let's test the key it's warm and warmer than last time so it's going to be south of Falador here just exit Falador to the south I wish this quest was a lot more organised makes me feel like a right fucking knobhead just running all over the place right when you get to south of Fardor you just want to head under this tree and it is just above this bush here where these daisies are and you just want to dig and you find more treasure I'm just going to drink a stamina potion you don't need to keep all this shit to be fair um, but I'm just going to keep it just now it's cold right so if it's cold I'm just trying to remember like where I've actually been I'm just going to go back to the Grand Exchange again it's cold but colder than last time so where the fuck have I been I really wish this quest was a lot more easier to explain though because it's really frustrating not be able no being able to explain this. This isn't really a guide you should follow like step by step. Like if you see me going to places, obviously don't just go oh he's going to Faldo. That's where I need to go. This quest is completely random for everyone. So you just need to follow your key and just stick to where it's telling you to go pretty much that's the best advice I've got for you all I can do is just show you where the shit is it's cold and warmer than last time so because of that I'm going to go to the Grand Exchange and I'm going to I'm gonna check here first but I'm going to go to the Grand Tree and I'm going to teleport to the Gnome Village the Gnome Stronghold should I say I fucking hate this quest. It's just so random. Gnome Stronghold, let's go. Let's check here. It's warm and warmer than last time. So, it's not going to be the one in the Gnome Stronghold because it wouldn't say it was warm. It would be like, ouch, it's burning, it's hot. So I'm just going to run south out and just leave the Gnome Stronghold. Oh, this quest frustrates me like it's so hard to explain the quest that's why there's no videos on this quest that's why there's like no one doing the videos on this quest but I thought I'd give it a go I thought I would be able to do it but I'm just being a fucking idiot so where you want to go you just want to go west outside of the Rome stronghold And it's around about here somewhere. Let me just double check my map. Um, when you get here, it's like some sort of wee camp. You just want to go west of this little stool here. And you want to dig. And just look at your chat box and see that you've got some treasure. Um, press your key. If it says it's freezing, that must mean your next chest must be somewhere else. So let's go to Falador. I think I've only got Mud Skipper left over this way and maybe no I've got Gnome Stronghold and the Grand Exchange as well I believe so if it says it's cold and warmer than last time that's going to make me believe we're at Falador eh uh, uh, that's going to make me believe that that's at the Grand Exchange that's what I meant to say so let's press it here out just burning and warmer than last time right so that's good you just want to go to the east the west side of this and you just want to stand on this bit and just dig third from third step from the west side of that stall that was hard to get out 
Um, so I uh, just check your chat box so that you've dug treasure up and that's pressure key. It says it's cold. We're definitely not going to the stronghold again. Um, it will be Faldo. I think I've only got Mud Skipper left and then the Gnome Stronghold. So let's teleport to Faldo. And I'm just going to run to Mud Skipper's point. If you want, you can use a house teleport if your house is in Remington. Just going to check my key. It's cold and warmer than last time. So that must mean we're getting close. Yeah. So let's just keep running south to Mud Skipper's point. Passports are in. Just keep running. And then south, south of this building, you'll find a rock and a tree. Just want to stand under this tree at this point and dig. And that's that. Let's press your key. It's freezing, so let's go to our doin. It's cold and warm than last time, which leads me to believe that it's at the Grand Exchange. Uh, the Gnome Stronghold, so let's go to the Grand Exchange. Let's go to the Gnome Stronghold. Press our key. It's burning. That's good. So what you want to do, you have to go up to this next transport sign up here. No, it's this one. My bad. Just outside the Grand Tree. And you want to come over this mushroom here. And just west of the stick. Just want to dig. And that's it. And then let's go to Ardoin. I think that's the last one now. For me anyway. You just want to leave to the south. I'm just going to double check that it is here though. Ouch, it's burning hot. Right, that's good. So, South Ardoin, just, just north here, just on this path, you just want to find this bush here, the bush on your mini-map, and you want to just go west of this tree, look for the dead tree stump, that will give you a good sense of direction, and the valve, and you just want to dig find some items but the key dissolves in your hand and that will let you know that you've completed the quest and let's just double check and you have completed the enchanted key quest if that, if this has helped please like the video and please please comment and tell me how you got on because that was a pain in the arse thank you very much and goodbye